Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The Washroom Report. Okay, my brothers and sisters, uh, I've got a few updates here. I pray I can remember them all. Amen. Okay, first off, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in Ethiopia for the last uh, day or so. Um, he is talking about regional peace and stability and how they're going to be our new BFFs. Okay, now we know Sudan slash Ethiopia is one of the players in the Ezekiel 38 war. Okay, so we've got that. And I've got a, a picture that came off his Bluebird page. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to share it, but if I can, I will share it in the link below. If not, you can see it for yourself. Uh, go to uh, Twitter search home uh, in Google and just click on the Twitter search home. Then you can type in at the top um, S-E-C Pompeo, P-O-M-P-E-O, -E and you can slide down and you can see these things for yourself. Okay, you do not have to be a member to do it. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try to, I took a picture of the uh, page. I'm going to try to see if I can share it with you uh, below, okay, in the link. Okay, so we've got that. Um since uh, Netanyahu uh, hired another general solely uh, to fight uh, the octopi <laughs> of Iran's forces, um, Hezbollah, um, the IRGC, uh, the PMU, uh, the Popular Mobilization uh, Unit, uh, there are several of them. Okay, um, Sons of Zawari is probably one of them. So now um, they are strategically, um, right now, day and night, they will be uh, preparing for war with Iran and its proxies. Okay, from the north, from the south, from wherever it may come. They have a five-year plan. Now, um, call me crazy, but it ain't gonna be no five years, amen? Okay, but this is what they're doing. Okay, and that's why the Lord stands up and takes care of uh, their enemies, amen? Because they will be totally overwhelmed. Uh, yeah, there's no way they can take it on all by themselves. Okay, now... Uh, Turkish forces, um, you know, they've been trying to invade into Libya, another member of the Ezekiel 38 war, okay? Uh, it seems that Libyan army, and I'm not talking about Haftar and his terrorist regime, I'm talking about the Libyan army has sh uh, sunken a Turkish, Turkish ship um, that had uh, weapons that they were trying to deliver to Tripoli to fight against the Libyan army and Haftar and their section because Turkey's wanting to take over Libya as well. Okay, so uh, Turkish uh, ship with weapons has been sunken. Okay, it's in the bottom of the ocean. Okay. So we've got that. Now, President Trump's going on and on and on about all these fake agendas and, you know, all of the fake impeachment and the fake news and the fake dims and uh, mini Mike, who now is going to have his first pres uh, presidential debate among the Democrat Party. He's missed all the other ones. Uh, he's just throwing out his money right and left. He's trying to buy his seat into the presidency. And it's just, it's a three ring circus here in the United States. Amen. And I'm sure around the world, wherever you are, 
it's about the same thing. Okay, so that's what he's concerned about. Um, we have several, at least 12 that I know of, receiving centers for this uh, biochemical uh, weapon that has been released from Wuhan, uh, Hubei um, province, China. Um, there's cases popping up all over the place. So we've got that. Uh, plagues and pestilences, uh, wars and rumors of wars, just like the Lord said. Um, also, let's see what else was there. Naphtali Bennett, let's not forget him. Uh, he is coming out being bold and strong, uh, talking about how um, they will defeat their enemies and this, that, and another. Um, we still have the March 3rd, the third Israeli elections coming up shortly. We'll see how that turns out. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. The spirit and the broad say come. Um, I know there was something else. But that's just crazy enough right there. Oh, Russia. Okay. Russia currently, as uh, I'm speaking here, um, is fiercely fighting in Idlib. They also sent some of, the, some of their, their own foot soldiers into northwestern uh, Idlib, Aleppo, in that vicinity there. Um, and that highway between Aleppo and Damascus, where Erdogan was uh, saying that that was going to be his, and Putin came out and said, oh, no, no, no. Well, it looks like there's fixing to be a showdown between Turkey and Russia because now there are Russian soldiers on that Aleppo to Damascus uh, highway there, which Erdogan of Turkey wants for his own. So <laughs> uh, things are just getting crazier. I, I, I believe we are, we are seeing uh, the forerunners here of Ezekiel 38, okay? We've got all the prime members just going about their business here. Um, now, Egypt, we've spoken about this before. Egypt is about in war with Ethiopia slash Sudan because years back, uh, Ethiopia built a huge dam and they have closed off the water uh, to the Nile River and Egypt is almost out of water, okay? The Nile River is almost dried up. Now, we know that God is in control of all of these things that are happening. Amen. He created evil for the days of evil, and he uses them at his convenience. Um, okay? So, I mean, when whole seas and rivers and things of this such are drying up, there have been rivers of blood uh, seen in, uh, most recently, Russia, okay? Um, the uptick of the earthquakes is off the charts. Um, just keep looking up, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, it's almost time for us to fly out of here, and I can hardly wait to be with y'all. Be with King Jesus, amen, His Majesty. We're going to be up there having such a wonderful time. Great feast. Yes, thou hast prepared the table for us in the presence of our enemies. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, come. The Spirit and the Bride say come. And if you have never called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I suggest you do so now because nothing's going to be peaceful. Nothing's going to be stable. Uh, there are food shortages. I wanted to jump back to um, uh, the locust in the uh, South uh, Africa, uh, these locusts, and they're going, you know, from place to place now. Um, I saw an article that these Frankensteins have created a cyborg 
locust, which is supposedly to be a bomb sniffing locust. Okay? But what I believe, when you start seeing news come out like that, and they're talking about, um, well, it's in the book of Daniel. Many shall go to and pro, and knowledge shall increase. Well, if knowledge increases anymore, you know, it's, it's I just want to go home, baby man, and I know y'all do too. Please believe the gospel, the good news, that Christ died for our sins, and God the Father raised him from the grave three days later. Put your faith, your hope, and trust in him. Love him. He loves you. He loves all of us. We are his creation. Put down your sinful ways. Um, come to him by faith. That's the only way. Um, you're saved by God's grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, not that of works, lest any man may boast. So I pray that somebody gets saved tonight. Because if, it, if you refuse this free gift of salvation, you're going to go through the seven-year tribulation, uh, which starts with Revelation 4 through 19. And you can bet that it will happen in the order that it has been written. It will happen as soon as the bride of Christ, the remnant of believers who are still believing that Jesus Christ is the only Savior, the only pathway to the kingdom of heaven, to Beulah land. We're going to the new Jerusalem, and we would like for you to come. Jesus said, go out, invite everyone. We are inviting you, this forum, this ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. We invite you. Please call upon his holy and mighty name. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the grave, you shall be saved. Maranatha.